for Tommy. Now you've had two training sessions with the lads, so how have they been? You know, how's the introductions been? Has it, has it been all good? It has been very positive. I think they're a really receptive group. You know, um, they look fit, they look able, um, competent, and they can they listen. So what I've what I've put to them in the couple of days that we've had is all been about us. You know, I'm not not really interested. You know, we're playing. We've got six games against six different oppositions. I can only guess what they didn't do because we don't know what they're doing. It's not my job to know what they're doing. My job is to make sure that we know what we're doing. And every player who starts the game or is involved in the game at any stage will know exactly what his job is when he's got the ball and exactly what his job is when he hasn't got the ball. And that's how I've been really down the middle, straight down the middle. It's about us. It's about how we approach the game. Um, we need to win games. It's as simple as that. And you know, have they impressed you? Is, is, is you've got to obviously make your first start in eleven choice tomorrow. So have, have they all been yeah, shifting I mean, up the gears? I've made, I've made a big point of saying you know there'll be disappointment in play, in the in the lads who don't start the game, and it's not because I like them or don't like them any more than the next man. It is what it is. You know, I've, I've had two sessions really. One one I watched and two I've taken. That I have to pick a team that I think can do what I want them to do against Yeovil Town on Friday. So. Whether they're disappointed or not, they have to show the respect to me and the respect to the player who takes the shirt because ultimately they may have to replace that person. But the skill sets that I've seen over the couple of days in a very short period of time, my neck's on the block because I have to pick the team that I think will win the game. And if we don't win the game with the start 11, I hope the lads who come off the bench all have an impact because that's what their job will be. Can you share any of those messages you've given those players? Obviously, you say, you know, it's all about us, that kind of thing. But well, it's a big game tomorrow, isn't it? Well, it is, well, it, well, it's a big game because it's the next game. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, well, whilst we've got six games and we want to win all six, we can only win one at a time. So, yeah, obviously, we're going to start the game trying to win it. And if we, if we can't win it, we don't want to lose it. Simple as that. But the message from day one on, since I've walked in the door is about us. We've talked about us as individuals, as groups, as as units in the team and as a team. And it's as simple as that. I don't care one iota who scores, as long as we score. So from that point of view, if we can score a goal, I, we can win a game. Because if you don't score a goal, you can't win a game. And that, that's what we're looking at. We're looking at playing on the front foot and we'd, we'd be up for, the, up for a scrap. At the end of the day, uh, people can dress it up how they want, but football is all about two goals and two teams of 11 men. The, the, the 11 men that impart their will on the other one will undoubtedly come out on top nine times out of ten. Sometimes you can dominate a game and lose. And if that happens, the performance is important, but the result is more important. And simple, you know, it's a short-term thing for everybody at the moment. Six games, we try and win all six if we can. If we can't, we try and not lose any of them. Obviously, there's going to be two games in very quick succession over the bank holiday weekend. Mm -hmm. It's quite disruptive, but I guess obviously every team has the same problem, don't they? Yeah, I'm standing here thinking it's Friday and it's Thursday. <laughs> yeah. so straight away, that's, that's strange. But yeah, you're right. It's a quick turnaround, but it's no different really from a Saturday to a Tuesday. Um, but obviously, there's one or two players who need managing through the two games, you know, with, with history, history in their, their bodies. So it'll be highly unlikely the same team to play both games. Um, but again, that's what we talk about. The, the group mentality has to be such. If you don't play this game, you have every chance you're playing in the next game. What I will say is, I think of the guys we've got available to us to pick tomorrow, all of them will play some part between now and the end of the season. So it's imperative that they are on board. Like I said to the fans and the volunteers that I spoke to yesterday, if they're running in the wrong direction, they won't be coming with me. So I need them all on board. And are you looking forward to your introduction to the fans tomorrow? Yeah, I am. I am. I mean, listen, I, they, they have a reputation, they're, they're, they're vociferous, they're loud and they're proud. And, and I want them to be loud and proud behind us. It's a time to get together, get behind the lads because they need their support. You know, it's easy to say, it, but you know, you can look at the, you can look at historically over the last couple of years, the home form has not been as good as the away form. You know, if, you, if we've got the extra man behind us with their voices, I'm sure that will cheer us on and, and help suck the ball in that net in the East End. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.